you ready? What's up? Yeah, you ready to get recorded now? Yeah, for the interview. Yeah, man. Come on, man. Stop playing, man. I'm ready. Like I'm, I'm ready to fight. <laughs> <laughs> y'all right, play, y'all play right, too man. much, man. <laughs> yo, go on, beats, beats. Yo, beats, head it off, man. Yo, right up, man. so Ivan, uh, I've got um a few guys who um post boxing videos from the YouTube community. We got Burt Marks, Seventy Eight Fight News, and Errol Jarrett, and me myself, boxing beats and rhymes. So, just want to say, what's up? How you doing? Man, I'm good. I you're told good. you I'm good, man. I know, I know you're good. Fight. I know you're good, good man. See what I mean? Yo, y'all sitting up there laughing like, 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 like I'm playing. I ain't playing. I'm serious. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> well, you coming out of retirement, right? <laughs> Hell no. I'm playing. <laughs> He's not that amped. He's not that amped. If Gatti offered you a fight, you wouldn't, you wouldn't come out of retirement? Oh, well, Gatti's dead. Or Man Freddy. Oh, um, yeah, I come out of retirement to fight, man. Freddie and myself. We was talking. We was talking to him last week, man. He was saying. He was saying. Yeah, best, yeah we, we. Yeah, we were talking to him last week. We were saying like you was the best fighter he ever. One of the best fighters he ever fought. Well, I mean, I appreciate that, but no disrespect, and I'm not. And I'm not the type of guy to be sitting up there, uh, uh, making excuses and nothing like that. But man, Freddie caught me at the right time because I was on a high after just beating Gaddy. Yeah, I just made a whole lot of money, and I'm saying I was ready to do a whole lot of things. And the Man Freddy fight came off, and um, you know, it was just like I got ready, but then I didn't get ready because really, you know, we was man, man Freddy was for that for like three months before that, but he had just got knocked out by uh, Floyd, and he didn't want to fight me because he thought I was trouble, which I should have been, but you know, I was. Like I said, I didn't come in the fight like I was supposed to, and uh, it is what it is. But you know, I'm 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 proud of the way my career went, man. I'm not I'm not mad about nothing. I'm I'm happy that I'm living, and um, I'm glad to be talking to y'all. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, glad we glad. Sure. That's what's up right now, man. For real. Thank you, man. Yo, I appreciate I... it. What's up? The Eagles, man. What's up with the Eagles? Man, look, I'm not a I'm not a coach, a man like that, man. But my thing is, um, you know, Andy Reid, man, I love his brother. I met him a couple times. He's good people, man. But I mean, it's just like a fighter, man. You got to know when when it's time for you to go, man. And I mean, <laughs> it's time for him to go. He got to go, dog. Then he then he get, then he get my man Michael Vick all beat up. That ain't cool. Right. Yeah, that ain't cool. They playing with that on Vic, man. Yeah, it ain't on Vic. <laughs> Yo, I tell you, man. No disrespect to the people out there. But Michael Vick would have been better off if he started gassing people like Hitler than killing dogs. Because them people, them love dog. I'm telling you. Right? Man, look. <laughs> Keep it real, man. Look, let me, look, look, let me tell you something. I love, I love the boy so much, man. He my man, I tell you. But I swear to God, if he quit football, he walked down the street today. I might mess around and punch him in his mouth myself. You like uh, dogs, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> huh? You're a dog, well, you like dogs. Man, I had a... Yo, know, look, I had a dog myself. I ain't had no big dog. I had a little... A little girl dog. One of them little... Uh, 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 what you, them little poodles you put in your bag. Chihuahua. I had that because my wife loved them. And I love that dog, man. And I'm not cool with you just uh, doing what you're doing to animals like that. That's not cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm, so, so how did you? So how did you get? So how did you get into boxing? Uh, my dad took me when I was five years old. You know, I'm an old head, man. Back when I was coming up in like '71, you can go in the gym at five years old because so nobody think you're gonna really be doing nothing. All they know you're gonna come and do is maybe hit the bag, kick the bag, and run around the bag, and then run outside and they ain't gonna see you no more. But eventually, my dad took me every day by the neck. The hand, whatever, and um, he took me to the gym, man, and I did it. I played around for a while, but then a uh, a young man by the name of Johnny Suggs told my dad he wanted to train me, help train, help my dad train me, and boom, that's a wrap, baby. That's where it started. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that in your career that you didn't win a world title. Yeah, you know, um, I just got inducted into the New Jersey. Bought the Hall of Fame about two weeks ago, and um, the guy who uh, put me on the map was Bernard Fernandez. He was a writer from Philly. Y'all might have heard of him. Um, you know, I think, honestly, out of my career, I think 
Now listening and um, hearing the things that he said, and, and God forbid you always got to get old, and you got to sit down, and then you got to start putting your pieces together, and then start saying to yourself, oh, yeah, this, that, that. But, you know, um, it is kind of crazy that I didn't fight for a world title more than once, but then again, you know what, in that day and age and time, Guys was not making a lot of money unless it was like Oscar De La Hoya and whoever else. But, you know, I was making pretty good money for them fights. And eventually I wasn't worried about another title fight after I lost to Philip Holiday because I was beating good guys. I was getting recognition on TV. Yeah. I fought on HBO. So I figured that sooner or later somebody would act stupid and say, let me get a kid from Philly a title shot and I will beat him. But... I was who said that I had to be smart, but they were smart. Nobody gave me a shot. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> what, happened, what happened to the, Ant what happened the Antonio to Diaz, Diaz fight, man? Diaz fight, man. Um, you know, we fighters. You know, I never um, shy away from a fight. I'm, I'm always the guy that always is ready to, you know, talk to the media. I'm always the one that's ready to sit there and tell the truth because I've always been told. That your sports writers and your fans make you. Without your sports fight, without your sports writers, your fans, and TV, you're nobody. Yeah. So you know, and that with me saying that is that um, me thinking that just besides being a fighter, that I could be a smart management, and um, I took fights that I shouldn't have took that were just crazy at the time when I was coming through. But nobody thinking about no guys coming down from waiting. This that we just thought so if we could get in there. And we had the same amount of tools that the other guy had. I had a chance to win. And there was nobody. Honestly, uh, Carl Moretti, who did the matchmaking for um, uh, Madison Square Garden when I first started. Then he did the uh, matchmaking for uh, for main events when I was with main events. I don't think he put me in a fight that I shouldn't have won. I think I had, what, 30, I mean, 46 bouts. I should have won 46 and up because... There was nobody on my record that was uh, uh, a problem except for Gaddy. And the only reason why Gaddy was a problem was because Gaddy was the type of kid, I don't care, you can hit that joker with the kitchen door. And he still kept coming. And if you didn't watch out, I'm serious, dog. And if you didn't watch out, he would hit you with the kitchen door and you was definitely going to sleep. Wow. So besides him... I, I didn't see nobody there. I really had too much of a problem that I shouldn't have beat, except for maybe Vivian Harris. Yeah, he came yeah. along later. Yeah, he yeah, came we, along later. We was talking to him yesterday. We was talking to him yesterday. Uh -huh. and, you, and you you had a draw. You had a draw with him. Yeah, I had a draw with him. Yeah. Now that's the only fight. That's the only fight I I put my head on the second about. That's the only fight that I think I lost. I mean, you know how. When you get beat by somebody that you that you race or you get ready to get in trouble, you know how you get the feeling that you're going to get in trouble? Mm -hmm. That was the only fight when it went to the decision, I got scared. I had butterflies in my stomach because I said, I'm going to lose to this kid. And I got a draw. And everybody told me when I got out of the dressing room, they said, the only reason why you got a draw because these people down here in Atlanta City love you. And ever since then, man, Atlanta City's been my second home. And they saved me. Oh, man. Yeah, so 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 you just said Atlantic City is second home. Like, what you think about how it looked after the hurricane? Well, you know, I haven't had a chance. It's funny too, because I'm sitting right here right now talking to you outside my job, and I was saying to myself because I work at night. I work from uh, twelve midnight to ten in the morning, and I was just saying to myself, "I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take a ride down Atlantic City when I get off work tomorrow." But um, I work in a halfway house. And all the guys in my halfway house know about me. They either pull me up on the internet or YouTube or whatever, and they see me. And I got a couple guys that's from down there, and they keep telling me every day, they're like, Mr. Rob, you know, hey, man, we took a bad hit, but we're going to be all right. So I guess I'm going to ride down there tomorrow and see what's going on. I think they're going to be all right as long as we got gambling tables and, you know, dice and the cars and crack tables and all. They're going to be yeah. fine, baby. Yeah, because Broner just had that fight down there the other night. Yeah, I, I love that boy, man. I really love that boy, man. I think he's going to be something to reckon with as time as time go along. Definitely. So uh, what, yeah. happened in, what happened in, in the James James Lehar fight? 
you know what? Honestly, I'm be honest with you. I couldn't tell you what the heck happened in that fight. I don't know, dog. <laughs> I know he hit me with something. He hit me with something, and I was on the floor. I'm sitting there like, what the hell happened? Did I trip? <laughs> I don't know, but he he tell you too. He he thought that he thought that I was gonna beat him because after the fight, he was like, man, he was like, you know, I got a gift. I'm like, what you talking about? He's like, man, I wasn't supposed to win this fight, you know. And um, yeah, I you know, he I guess he just was the better man. But you know, at when it's all said and done, guys like Jesse James, they are guys like um, Daddy, guys like man, Angel Man Freddie. Uh, and you know, Vivian Harris and so on and so on. It's just crazy how that um you know, we train for six to eight weeks hard in the gym and then we mess around and we only get an hour to go out there and put a display of talent on to try to beat our opponent and man, at the end of the day or the end of the year or the end of the century or whatever you wanna call it, we can, you know, gel with each other. Like I can hit Man Freddie on Facebook right now. And we could talk for hours, yeah. you know. I, I just talked to I just talked to Julia Jones the other day. Matter of fact, I just got on the phone earlier today with Lionel Odom, and I ain't talked to Lionel, Lionel since like '87 when we was in the amateurs together. I don't even know what happened to him. Did he even have a Did he even have a pro career? Reggie Nash. Who's that? No, not Reggie Nash. I'm talking about Lionel Odom. Okay. Okay. No, All right. I'm out of my comfort zone on that. So do you uh, miss boxing? Uh, 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 do you miss boxing? Do you miss boxing? Man, what did I just tell you, man? Call anybody, man, get me a fight. What did I tell you, man? <laughs> yeah, man, I miss it. It's crazy. Yeah, I miss it. Yo, man, so tell us about that fight. What do you miss about it? What do you miss about it? Um, the days uh, going to camps, the get up early in the morning, the going to run, um, just going in the gym and training. See, one thing about me, um, I came late in the area, but I was still in that area with, like, Pernell Whitaker, me and Zab and Gay. We trained under Pernell for so many uh, uh, of his later years, like when he fought uh, her her, uh, her title, when he fought uh, 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 De La Hoya. We was all in camp with Gaddy, I mean, with uh, Pernell at that time. And Pernell, of course, he was winding down. But he's still one of the best and one of the slickest guys out there. Um, you know, he just gave us so many pointers on the game, man. Uh, it was just phenomenal, man, for us to get advice from guys like Pernell. You know what I'm saying? And uh, David Tour. We was in camp with David Tour. You know, okay. I just had the, the, the life to experience a lot of professionals and do a lot of things with these guys, man. And not outside of boxing, just to know these guys personally. Yeah. I mean... How I many how I many uh guys that I could say that I, I, I was in camp with? Yeah. How I many guys I can call right now when other people can't call them? So, you know, I mean I just been lucky and I praise God for it. You know what I'm saying? I thank you guys for calling me, man. Remembering me, remembering my fights, yep. even if they wasn't nothing but still remembering them, you yeah, know. Something. You know what I like talking about sorry you know what I like talking about why I talk to you because we speak to a lot of fighters and the years have jaded them, but not you. <laughs> I mean, you're like, damn. I mean, yeah, you you're not jaded out, at all, man. I love that, man. I love you that. You start shot, man. So, yo, yo, Ivan, what happened in the Chavez fight, man? You should have won, um, won that fight, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, but you know what? Um, Like I said, we, we, we fight as we get to a point at time that, um, you know, I, I can only say for myself, I don't know about other fighters, but I can only say for myself, you get to a, you get, to a road, you get to a block, you get to a crossroad in the road where you can't go no more. You want to go, you just can't go. And then it's like you meeting a girl, you know, you can't with you happy because you would have. You know what I'm saying? So it was like I had a lot of controversy, like getting this fight with Chavez. But when I got it with him, man, it was a, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a thing. Will, where you going? <laughs> hey Will, you leaving? All right, but um, uh, my thing is this. Um, I thought, well, you know, I thought, I thought I'd be, but then again, I gave him too much respect, and I was just happy to be in here fighting because, you know, I mean, actually, how many uh 
shit you get that can uh, even compare to get in the ring and fight a guy like Chavez. You know, they told him all this junk about that I was shot, that I was a no good fighter, he would knock me out. And then after the fight, me and this guy sitting across from each other having coffee. And he's sitting here telling me what a great fighter I am. People told him that I was going to fall in two rounds. And you know what I told him? I said, you got to be a damn idiot, man. You don't know me. I'm from Philadelphia. <laughs> then you might hit me with a bat and kill me. I'm not coming in here lay out. Ooh, dog. <laughs> but I tell you one thing. I tell you one thing. For him to be an old-ass man, he still got a good left hook to the body. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. What's up? I was talking to uh, the brother, um, uh, Eric, and uh, Beats. Yeah. And we were talking about uh, sports fans because, cause, you know, when I do my YouTube videos, I talk a lot of shit. And I was telling him, like, you can just tell people that's from Philly because they act a different type of way. <laughs> you know what I mean? so, so what kind of way do I act? The same way that uh, everybody else from Philly act? Especially, yeah, especially when you're talking about sports. You know how they get. Well, you know, we sports is a dire thing for us, man. You know, that's what we do. But, um, damn, I talk like that. Well, I, you know, I, I can commend that. But, you know, one thing I'm going to say on the air, and I hope I don't get no critique about it, I can fight. I don't, I don't know about anybody else, but I can fight. I agree, man. I agree, man. I agree. Man. Yo, no, no, yo, 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 no. I know you know me since little, but I'm, I'm 41 right now, dog. I can still fight. Okay. I agree. I believe you. I, believe. I still can fight. Dog, I swear to God, if I if I really got in shape, like I should get in shape, I give a joker like Broner. I, I give a guy like Matisse <laughs> or, or Zab Judah. I give all those guys work, dog. I mean, what kind of shape you in now, though? I ain't in no damn shit. I ain't in no shit. I weigh 195. I'm kind of round. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're yeah, you're bad. You're bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. But, <laughs> yeah, that's the same thing I say. Oh man. <laughs> yo, nah. man. yo, 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 Ivan. So, 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 what you think about Danny Garcia? Um, I I like Danny Garcia. He he he's a uh, he's a good young kid. Um, uh, I didn't expect, I I didn't really honestly I didn't expect him to pop like that. I'm starting to think. He got something in his blood. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm it's happy for it's him. It's something it's in his blood. Yeah. Or something what are you talking about? PEDs? What are you talking about? Yeah, he's, drugs? He's talking about 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 He's I think he had trouble with a guy like Broner. If Zab, if Zab Judas come that we know can fight, he gonna have trouble with Zab. You like Zab? Yeah, I don't, you like I don't Zab? see that happening. I don't see that happening. I don't see that. You, you like? I Zab? love Zab. I love that's my man. I love Zab. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yo, what you think about when Zab got knocked down by Costa Do You reckon the fight should have been stopped? Hey, what? Shit. Ray Charles would have stopped that fight. <laughs> he can't. He can't. And they're going to get his seat. Yo, man, I think I think fight should have continued, man. I think Zab's right. You're the only person who thinks yeah. that in the whole world. I'm the only, I think Zab's going to try to continue, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he won. Only you and Zab think that. Yo, that, that, that's, that's the first thing you do when you... uh. When you get hit with a shot, man, and you don't know where you at, you always want to continue to fight. Mm. You always want to continue to fight, but one of two things can happen. Either you're going to get sent to your grave, or you're going to live to, to see another day. And my man lives to see more than another day. Oh, He's seen many a day. All right, that's it. I, I, I'm not going to go into that no more. I'm, I'm, I, that's it. I'm, that's it. I back down on that then. Fair enough then. Fair enough. Then. Fair enough. <laughs> that, that, just, that just reminds me too. I just talked to Costa like uh, two and a half weeks ago. Because uh, you know he do uh, he do some type, some type of bowl tournament or something out there in, uh, out there in, um, in, uh, out there in Australia. 
Mm-hmm. I asked him why he ain't go back to Russia. He said he ain't never going back to Russia. Mm. Okay, he's never going back to Russia. <clears throat> no, he ain't never going back to Russia. He said he's there right there in Sydney. Oh, oh. now he's not moving. He, he's comfortable in the in Australia, man. In the land down under. But he was, but he's in, <laughs> but he's in Russia. But he ain't in Russia. He's coaching. He's coaching Dennis Leveleb, and he's in Russia. Oh uh, well, he might just be going there to train, but he said he ain't going there to live. All right. Yeah. All right. Mm. Why? What's wrong with Russia? What's wrong with Russia? It's What's wrong with Russia? There, there's no money yeah, in Russia, man. Russia. Ain't nobody trying to go to Russia, man. Shit, I ain't want to go to Russia when I had to go there to face some of them. Man, that is a terrible place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Russia's yeah. deep, but Marks, man. It's, it's, it's What's the experiences in Russia? They got some real racism. Um, yeah. the, food, the food is nasty. Everybody stink. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Ivan, you're a killer, rude boy. You're a killer. Oh, you're a- <laughs> <laughs> oh that's bad, man. Just- <laughs> you said the- hey, it is what it is. But look, I got, I got to go on my building, guys. Yo, look. Y'all can call me anytime y'all get ready, man. I'm to kick it with y'all, man. Yeah, right, we're going to do it right, again, yeah, man. Like, it was definitely. great talking to you. We talked to right, you, right? Brilliant, man. Peace. Brilliant. All right. Peace. All right. Peace. All right. peace, peace. Man. Okay, peace. I, I'm going to warn Adrian Broner that you're coming after him, too. So, peace up. He's gone, man. He's gone, man. <laughs>